All right, let's play this in full. It's kind of short, so let's play this twice. Why not? One and... Boing. All right. So my thoughts are, they're mostly on timing and a little bit on your stretch right there and your settle with the, the stomach raise there. So my main thing was that it just, this felt very, very slow. Now you might argue, well, maybe he wants it to be that slow to go. Let's pretend, let's pretend it is. That's the direction the client said. Let's give him this very slow, very clear anticipation. Maybe you could potentially raise this arm a bit higher and then take this arm a bit lower. I'm just curious for a cleaner silhouette. And with that, you will bring up the shoulder actually. And then I wonder if you want to stick the head out just a bit more. I don't know, maybe it's too much to have him point and look this way, but I think for sure the arms would be worth uh, experimenting. Also, if you look at, if you go this way, you want to make sure that I would rotate your hip forward towards us so that this leg is not totally sideways and it's kind of that that leg here is pulling that hip this way, but then also the hip this way was all the weight is on this leg. <clears throat> so you would have that and you could potentially even bring that foot down a bit. So you have a bit of a clear, um, Leg silhouette, so it's not all in one, two. Might be interesting to give this a bit more definition there. So imagine you would have that kind of adjustment there and that there, just to really, really push that. And because of this, uh, while well, he is raising it there, so I would try. Let's give it a shot. It's kind of for clear silhouette. Um, I personally would go maybe loosen up here. And then hold a bit and then whoop and just go a bit of a whoop hold choo, and then go over right now this to me felt slow this for sure from here on that's a really really long hold and i that i will shorten for sure i'll personally go we might have not go from this to this in one go but you might relax here then hold just a little bit not a hold but just slow it down a little bit for texture and then whoop and then hold and then pew, and then go over there Personally, also presentation wise, I would take all this out. Don't show the grid. Uh, I know the stuff I kind of, I'm also um, zooming this in. It's technically looking like this uh, and it's a bit of, you know, you have room here and that's kind of where he stops. I mean, this would be your somewhat framing. You wouldn't need all of this. It's a bit of a, that's a massively super anamorphic widescreen. It might even be beyond beyond that so i will just give this a proper ratio and then take out all that good stuff there for a clean presentation but let's go back and then the other thing was if you're doing a stretch where he's moving so fast that he goes zoing, the thing is you want to stretch in a direction that the character is going and right now this is moment of already going up this way and i should probably change the color since he's yellow so that I don't think it's it's fast enough and I don't think he's going far enough to do such a stretch. This seems a bit too exaggerated and it's it's already going this way where he lands here. To me, it seems like you would have to really do a crazy sidestep all the way to here and then actually stretch this way. That's your stretch. And then as you go up, you could overshoot like the way you have it here but i wouldn't just go as much but you can just keep that in the more of a, that trajectory so maybe you could envision a stretch that's or a sidestep that's where where he ends up maybe here and you can have a bit of a stretch going this way and then on like a lower and on his way up have a bit of a stretch up so it just felt just a bit too much and to me, it's, especially when it's fast and it's almost in a smear, it's, it's kind of like, like you want to feel it more than see it. Obviously, if you put it in there, it's, you want it to be visible, but this just, this seems like he's being 
pulled up by someone way too early. And also those arms are really super long. I'm, I don't mind, you know, the, the idea and, and the style of it. It just doesn't quite work to me in terms of the momentum and the direction where it's going, where it just goes too soon straight up here. And then the other thing was that I don't mind this, that the belly is dragging. Again, if you're going, you know, if that's the path, I mean, it ends up here. He starts here. You have, to, you have to imagine this all follows this path that even through here, you want to start bending your body and really going towards that place. And then you straighten up when then this belly follows. But then the belly thing to me feels like there's, there's a stone in it. And it's almost like if this is all wobbly, A, if there, I don't know if there's a way to stretch this, uh, to squeeze this in. Because you just, you want, if that's the mass, right? And you're stretching it, it's going to stretch the whole thing. Not leave that, but that might be a model issue. And then when you go up here, I wish you could also kind of stretch up there, but uh, squash it up there. But to me, it seems like when it goes boring, that you want to go out a bit more and a bit lower and then come back up into a bit of a less of a, less of a squash. It's so basically imagine you know, if you have your ball and you're stretching it, it's going to get thinner. It's the same mass, but you're stretching it out. So you can't do a stretch that's just as wide as its original position when you, you're kind of starting to scale up and changing the actual volume to the total size. So if possible, thinning it out here, you can go up and I would ideally go up rip this way and then come down a bit to the right down and then rip back up in the middle. But I would technically go down too far over shooting, come back up for a settle there. So if you watch this in real time, boom, it just, it just misses one, boom, one in there. Boom, it just feels a bit too harsh there. I think these are to me the biggest issues. I mean, there are other things like the these kind of coming down a bit too symmetrically, if that's a word. I would offset these. And then I think I would work on the bigger timing changes before I go into more like foot detail and stuff like that. Just because I think there, there are bigger uh, changes to be made before going on to, to, into the nitty gritty details there. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know if that's something that you can do, you're willing to do. And the other thing, just, just as a note here, because he is on the bigger side, when you stretch, that's still the technically, it's, it's imagined there is, there's a rib cage. It's that, it will make sense. It can stretch and that's fine. Versus the head, don't forget, even in cartoon land, of course, there's always, you know, a style difference, especially in 2D, but imagine there is, there's a skull, a bone in there. So when you do a stretch, I would try to stretch by widening and opening the mouth and you can potentially even maybe flatten the, the ears and open up uh, eyes really big. But technically, I would try to avoid a skull size change. Because then that here you can do by pushing out the cheeks, flattening, maybe flatten the nose a bit, bring out those ears, all those kind of visual cues of a squash, but not widening the head and then coming back to a thinner version. If you just get in CG, it kind of starts to look like a, a, a water balloon head. And of course, there's always a time and place to do something like that. But just as of now, I would try to just keep it in the, in the realm of let's make this somewhat I'm not going to say real, that sounds wrong, but more plausible in terms of fat and muscle and, and skeleton. So even in Cartoon Land, there's a, there's a slight realism to it. Just this, I'm not quite sure this works there, being so stretched. Again, for it's not just for that path, it just seems more like I could pop. It, it pops up and it doesn't seem like a directional stretch given the speed and momentum. Anyway. I'm rambling. I'm going to leave it here. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know if you want to do another version of this. I'm not quite sure uh, how many versions you want to go in there in terms of fixes and, and polish. All right. Thank you. All right. 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.